Okay, let's start out on our walk today. We're going to check out the little garden. The flowers are coming up. All the little wildflowers are starting to grow. The choke cherry bush is coming along quite nicely. The lavender is growing. Got a little bit of rain, so we're going to be showing more green every day. The mint is up. And of course the ferns and all the usual flowers that are growing here naturally in the woods. And as we carry along, I'm, walk along, I'm going to show you different little trailers that are in our park. Some of them are up on hills, some of them are down in the gullies, some of them are the king of the castle. I really enjoy walking around this park and checking out all the different areas and everyone's signs and their little novelty statues out front. It's so cool. Everybody's got something different to offer. Oh, and this is the timeout chair and a beautiful boat. And now we'll head through the woods. A little bit of quiet time here through the woods. It's so beautiful here. smell is so sweet after the rain. I can't get over the difference between the city and the, and the country. The forest is definitely my happy place. That's one thing we get here in Canada is a lot of sun. A lot of fresh air. That's what we appreciate in this life. We love nature and all the things that grow around us. And here's some more trailers. I guess they call them caravans over in Europe. Some have got beautiful big Roofs over the top. Oh. And even a pizza oven. Now we're going to walk back along the berm. We're going to walk this nice little shaded path between one of our bays and the park. It's so beautiful how people have take care of their property. Make sure everything is nice and just picturesque. And still stay rustic and fit into the forest. Little places for them to sit and have little campfires in the evening, roast some marshmallows. Everyone has their own little place cut out in this little forest. Now up onto the berm. Up here, Chewie's allowed to be off leash, so I'll let him off his leash when we get to the top of this little hill. And he'll be able to run along the berm, which is the dike, for the water overflow from the town to the channel. There's no water in the bed, I think, at this time. Everything's pretty dry this year. And as we're going along the berm, we're going to come up to my place. Me too. our trailer in a second and our gazebo crafting gazebo the deer love to walk along this path and graze on the grass and the clover the red clover and here we go down into our area this is where we have our little pristine section of the forest all cut out perfect for us. This is definitely my happy place. Chewie and I just love coming out here.
And that's it for our walk this morning. Now on with the show. Hi guys, welcome back to Visits with Soxie Data Alice. I'm Alice, your yarn host, and we're here today in the gazebo in Pinawa, in deer country. And I've got coffee to drink this afternoon. It's only 26 Celsius out. Mmm. Surprise, surprise. I think our heat wave is done. We're going to be running between 24 and 26 degrees all week uh, Celsius. And in the evening, we'll be going down to about between 16 and 19, which is perfect. That's perfect weather for me. I enjoy it immensely. It's perfect swimming weather, tubing weather. And yes, lots of great uh, walks around. I showed you one just a minute ago. And uh, yeah, we are back to our usual show today. Okay, so I just wanted to update you on four of my whips that I'm working on while I'm out here. Mosquito. Huh, we're going to have mosquito interruptions. I can see this happening. Okay, so as you know, I already made a pair of Swiss dot socks. And I'll put a picture here by uh, Nancy Wheeler out in Moncton, New Brunswick. Oh my God, you guys, such a beautiful pattern. You got to check out the Swiss dot, Swiss dot socks. They're shorty socks. Now, the last time you saw it, they were here. Oh, wow. Is that ever bright, eh? It's this beautiful orangey uh, variegated yarn. And I'm using a red for the contrast. And check it out. I'm already down, almost down to my toes. And here, I'll show you pretty up close. These little dots, these little dots are done with uh, a special little technique. You got to buy the pattern, you guys. Nancy Wheeler's pattern is so cute. And I did the heel flap and gusset, just like she advises. And also because I put the slide them in and out of my runners. So, or trainers, if you were in England. Not a mosquito, my God. Anyways, this wool, okay, is in my sock here. Only reason why I have sweat socks is to make ball holders. Okay, this is Fave Sock by Lane Yarn, Easy Knit. And it is 75 wool, 25% nylon. And this is came from the Mary Maxim. And it was a gift from my friend Diane. Hi, Diane. She's on my, at My Pink Bathtub. Listen, you guys, if you get a chance to check out her videos, she's a whole hoot. I'm telling you, she's retiring in a couple weeks. And, you know, show her a like and a subscribe. And, uh, yeah, let's get her on the YouTube. Okay. So this is the Swiss Dot Socks. And she gave me the wool from her mystery bag. Very, very nice wool. And it's variegated in oranges. There's a purple in there, light purple, lavender color, purple, orange, and red. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and a pink too. Okay, and you need a cable needle. At least I do. I think she's got a tutorial on that uh, with that pattern that comes with that pattern for using a cable needle and for not using a cable needle. So take your pick. Oh, and I am doing those 64 stitches on a 2.5 millimeter, 1.5 US needle. And these are just uh, knit pros, I believe. And here's the red and the red is, do I have a ball band here? You have to forgive me. Sometimes I don't bring everything out to the trailer with me. Oh, and this little thing is just a cover for threads. And this is the red. Oh, Walter's coming. Is Walter going to infiltrate our, our video? I don't know. This is the United Sock Lovers Katya 100% Wool. Okay, guys, sorry for the interruption. Let's start this back up again. Ah, anyways, so... I was going to show you Walter socks. These are Walters. I'm working on a size 13 shorty sock for him. He decided he wanted these as shorties. So I did some surgery and I cut the top off because I had a full length sock. And then I went ahead and just uh, knit up some ribbing at the top and bound that off. And with the cuff that I cut off, I started the second one. And I think I was right about here when I talked to you, when I showed you last, and now I've gone around the heel, I'm doing a shadow wrap heel for him. Same as the other one. They don't match. I was shocked, but I guess that's, I tr didn't try to match them. So 
the heels aren't going to quite match, but that's okay. So I'm working on working through those. Oh, this pattern is a free pattern on Ravelry, I believe, and it's called the um, uh, Latte. I'll put the name up here. So Latte, Vanilla Latte Socks. It's basically uh, a six, six, knit six, purl two, and then the following row, you knit the whole row. So it gives a little bit of a, of a, uh, stretch in your heel in your in your uh, stitches around the foot oh and i'm doing 72 stitches sorry on 2.25 again three point no all right let's see what this is my chow goose these are 2.5 millimeter chow goo red lace and i'll pull that through so that they're about the same size and i'm keeping that both of those in my my rug rug style bag, doctor style bag, metal frame bag that said that I made that says uh, I knit so I don't kill people. And I'm keeping both of them in here. And I think I showed you already too. I also made a small notions pouch to match. So I made that. Maybe one day I'll actually sell my bags. I don't know. We'll see. That's I don't think that's in the near future. So in my uh, labyrinth bag by dragon fiber bags I started two pairs of socks vanilla socks for the Christmas in July make along that Dana Ray is running and I'll put her all her information into and Dana Ray is a beautiful sock designer and she's running a make along with prizes and everything so come on you guys jump on the bandwagon I believe you can make anything you want but it has to be either a gift for Christmas or it's made out of Christmas yarn or it's basically a Christmas craft. So I've got these, this beautiful ball of West Yorkshire spinners. And I believe I showed you or, or I, somewhere I showed somebody and I put a marker in. But look at the colors, you guys. This is called Fairy Light Sparkle and it, it does sparkle. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in it. Here's the ball band, West Yorkshire Spinner. I got this wool on sale from um, Wool Warehouse a while back. So it was, <laughs> I just never got around to making them. So yeah, I just love this wool. This is so nice. So these of course are Christmas patterned, but these are gonna be Christmas gifts for Christmas, socks for Christmas gifts. And I'm just gonna do them in, and I got this one too. This is the gingerbread one, 1109. And I believe this was the color two Christmases ago and I think this might have been the color three Christmases ago. They're featured yarn from West Yorkshire Spinners, Signature Foreplay, reared, sheared and spun in Britain. 75% wool and 35% blue face luster, 25, oh sorry, uh, contains, it's 75% wool, 25% nylon, but of the 75% 35% is blue face luster and it's incredibly soft. I don't know how they're going to hold up, but I I have full hopes that I'll be wearing these before Christmas even. But this is my Christmas in July. And again, I was around here somewhere and now I've done a bunch more. So that's the second one. And both of these I'm doing on 2.75 and I'm only using 62 stitches. And then when I get down to the foot, after I do, I think I'm going to do um, a shadow wrap heel again. And then when I do the foot, I'm going to decrease it so it's down to a 60 stitch. And then I'm going to do a rounded toe. Or wedge toe, actually. Yeah. And with the leftovers, too, I was going to make um, my grandkids some uh, little toe warmers for next winter. Uh, do you remember I showed you those? I think, oh boy, was it last Christmas I showed? I had it on my podcast where I made these little toe warmers. My mom used to make them. And you put elastic band so that you just have it just to cover your toes. Because there's always seems to be lots of room in your boots for your toes and a little extra space. But not always a lot of room for an extra pair of socks. This way it keeps the, your toes extra special cozy. But I thought, wouldn't that be cute as little toe warmers with the stripes? And these ones too. I thought that would make really cute toe warmers. So yeah, so I'm doing those and I'm keeping both in the same bag because out here you like to have, you know, maybe two projects on the go at the same time and you just grab one bag and go. And hopefully we'll be 
taken off soon and getting some swimming dunts at the beach. And that way you can just grab one bag and then you got two projects to choose from when you get down there. Isn't that awesome? So there's one other thing I wanted to share with you guys right now. And I thought I would make one of these. And here's a picture to show you of what I'm trying to make. And I'm doing it from my head because, or from just from the picture, because uh, it looks pretty simple, um, really, kind of, for me anyways. I'm not a great crocheter, but I started using up some of the, I have a bunch of balls of leftover um, style craft and some um, odd acrylic in here in browns and, and turquoises and orange and what have you. A few different colors of browns, actually. I got this at the at a yard sale so but I got some gray and some blue and some green so I thought I'd take bring this out in my my little uh, crocheted bag and I'm starting this so here's I made four of these and yes I have to weave in ends I weave in sort of I kind of put them in as I go but I so like to weave them in a little extra to get to give them nice you know stability in there so that it doesn't fall apart because this is going to be one of those little bags those little pouch bags um i think they call them bum bags or fanny packs or actually i'm going to wear it around my chest sort of like a sling so a sling bag so what we're going to do is i made four of them because it only takes four and then you see you put two together like this now I'm going to make this one of them a little bit wider when I so when I crochet them together I'm going to crochet one a little bigger so that it'll poof out a little bit so I can put a little more stuff in it and then you take one and you fold it like that fold it like a triangle and then you're going to sew it this way okay like that now let's see if I can hold it <laughs> like that oh just like that Ta -da. and then I'm going to make um, a lining for it with a zip and uh, I'll do that at home of course when we go home next time but I figure I could get the outside part done and I thought I would use the brown I'm going to be using um, brown to put to crochet them all together and I'm going to use this thicker brown acrylic hang on one second okay interruption finished and Walter's here in the gazebo with me having his coffee so if you hear slurps or noise you know it's him not me not me see I'm not drinking okay so I was showing you the squares that I was making anyways and I was showing you that I was going to use this brown and I lost my crochet hook I'm sitting on it I'm using this brown to make the strap because it's nice and thick and it will be nice and stiff I'm not sure about these edges so and it doesn't seem to be as tight as I really wanted it to be so I'm going to do edge it edge it all along here so that it keeps it a little stiffer yeah so I figure that'll be wide enough for the strap and it's going to go all the way around okay that I think is all I had to show you for now to update you and yeah I'll put in a little walk to the uh, swinging bridge now I think well I think Chewy and I are going to head over there that's one of our favorite places to go especially in the morning when nobody's around and you can see from there you can see the tubers coming down the channel so thank you very much for joining me today and we'll see you in the next clip bye for now suspension bridge at Panama and there's my seat right there such a lovely walk to this beautiful pristine area so as you can see we're off on our walk today it's a beautiful sunshiny morning i was up at 5 45 for some strange reason i really think i thought there was a zoom today oh but it's tomorrow so i'm gonna try and get up tomorrow morning even though today was just an accident three cups of coffee later i'm out for a walk with chewy and uh yeah we're gonna start our day I got lots of knitting to get done. I got lots of socks to get knitting. And I will show you, I finished that uh, fanny pack bag that I was crocheting. I just have to put a lining with a zipper in it. And so on the uh, 
strap and then I'm all done that. So we are going to head back into the park and uh, back up to the trailer and yeah we'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay see you soon. So I see I'm a little bit wonky here and I'm really hoping you can hear me. Hey Chewy. But I just wanted to show you the fanny pack I finished. So like I said I took the four granny squares and I sewed them in such a way that it makes a fanny pack. And now I will make a uh, liner with a zipper on it and I will attach these straps. So I made one really, really long one and then I made a short one because I am going to put a um, one of those plastic locking clasps that you can make it like cinch it smaller or make it larger and that way you I can wear it around my waist I can wear it around my chest I'm planning on wearing it like this but a little lower but then you can't see it but yeah so leftover style craft scraps and some leftover wool that I got at a yard sale and there we have it worked out really really well I'll put pictures when I'm all finished I can't sew it up out here because I don't have my material in my sewing machine or in his zippers or anything but I really want to put a zipper in it so yeah, so thank you so much for joining me this week on and my summertime vlog number four. Hi guys, sorry about that. I think my camera must have cut out just as I was saying thank you. So I'm get to get I get to say thank you again. Thank you so much for coming and enjoying our walks and my time here with Chewy and I out in Pinawa, Manitoba. I hope you get lots of knitting and crafting done this summer as well. And yeah, join me in the make-alongs that are happening on Instagram and on Ravelry. And I will see you again in a week. If you'd like to um, subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you'd like to give me a like, that's great because it helps with the algorithm algorithms to get my podcast shown out there to new folks. And if you'd like to support me, I have a Ko-Fi link down below in the description. Thanks again for coming and we'll see you next week. Knit on, folks. Happy knitting. Bye now. Go figure. As soon as I settle in for the evening, it's about 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night. Look who shows up to visit. A lovely big buck. And he's a big boy. Look at those antlers. Wow. Again, my happy place. What can I say?